This morning we are bringing back, due to popular demand, <laughs> our series that asks the golden question, how often should you? Shop Today Editorial Director Adriana Brock is here to tell us how often we need Adriana, to Adriana, it's always Adriana. Is it Adriana? It is Adriana. I don't know, but it I could be that. Adriana. I, well, I think it's more continental. He was in his accent That's right. voice. Adriana is going to tell us how often we need to be cleaning or refreshing some items that we use every day. Adriana, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm right. so happy to be here. Let's start off with our cell phones. All right. How often do you guys think you should be cleaning your cell phones? I've never actually done it. What? Oh, gosh. never cleaned it. Uh, and I've got grubby hands on it. And especially day. if you've got a case, I, I, every day. Every day. You are correct. Hmm. The answer is A. So a 2022 Gallup poll found that over 8 in 10 adults bring their phone with them everywhere. Yeah. And I'm talking even nighttime in their mm. beds. So, bathrooms. Bathrooms. <laughs> we don't want to go there. But. This is why you should clean it every day. Mm -hmm. An easy way to do it, yeah. look for 70% okay. alcohol wipes. Right. Disinfect them. Most manufacturers say you can wipe them down. Get that case out, too. You mm -hmm. want to take off the case. It does get pretty really good under there. Yeah. 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 Right. You open that case, and yeah. the crumbs get like, stuck. Ooh, it's a Petri oh. dish. <laughs> you can also use a microfiber cloth to mm -hmm. get the screen nice and shiny. Okay. Do it every day, guys. Now, this one is, I think, going to be somewhat controversial. Okay. How often should you wash your jeans. What do you guys I think? I do like every three to five. I wearing. say okay. nine to ten. Oh. Ow, correct That's again. That's surprising we for you. We spoke to experts. Because you're, you're so clean. I feel I, like you clean your stuff every day. I don't know. I just, it, it, I, it, I seem to remember reading something about hmm. that. Yes, yeah, so a lot of experts actually say that you should wait as long as possible. Mm -hmm. So nine to ten Some people wears. never wash them. Some people never wash them. Some purists. Gross. You're but walking 10,000 steps and not washing your jeans? I'm not wearing jeans. <laughs> Listen, right. here's a hack for that. For refreshing them while you're wa in between washes. Uh-huh. Vodka spray. What? Mm. You get, open up that liquor cabinet, uh -huh. look for some vodka in there, and you can actually use it to spritz your jeans down. What does that do? It disinfects and deodorizes it. It's got that sanitizing mm. effect. Fun fact, and I didn't know this before this story, but. <laughs> Is it straight vodka? Mm. Straight vodka. Wow. <laughs> I feel like you we can go, use a cheaper vodka. You want to go lay on the, the good stuff. Mm. But a lot of Broadway performers actually use that to refresh their mm. costumes in between uh, shows. Also, when you're washing them, do it on a gentle cycle, uh -huh. cold water, and then lay them flat to dry. Oh, but you so don't put them in the dryer. Don't put yeah. them in the dryer. Okay. You want to I keep swear them I'm not drunk. I just sprayed my jeans. That's it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that too. Okay. Um, this one to get a better night's sleep. How okay. often should we change our pillows? How often do you guys think you should be replacing your Replace, pillow? Replacing so this is pillow. the full pillow. Maybe every I, two years? I go three. Okay, uh, Dylan, you're correct. It's Ooh, every oh. two years. Hmm. So, according to the Allergy and Asthma Foundation of America, you should be replacing your pillow every two years because hmm. they get deformed, they get stained. True. You've got pet dander, Ugh. sweat, mm -hmm. all those disgusting things that on. happen when you're sleeping. Yeah. And this is something you use multiple hours a day, every day. Mm -hmm. so you want to replace it. Another good way, though, to sort of extend the life of your pillow, mm -hmm. besides washing it and cleaning it, you know that tag that's everyone thinks it's illegal. Yes. To right. <laughs> that one is actually really important. It's got all the care instructions for your pillow. Oh. Some of them you can, you can wash. wash a pillow. Um, but if you can't, get one of these protective yeah. pillow covers. It's mm. kind of like a mattress cover oh. to help prolong the life of your pillow. I've always done that. Yeah. yeah this and some are like one. waterproof and like Ex drool proof. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So As it were. <laughs> Okay, um, toothbrushes. toothbrushes. How, How often, often should we replace should we our be toothbrushes? Replacing them? I, I, I do it whenever the the you know the co line color changes. I, okay. I know this one. I, I know it's. I think it's supposed to be every three months. I change mine every month. Ooh, overachiever. Mm. It is every three months, according okay. to most dentists. But, Al, you bring up a really good point because, and so do you, Dylan, when you're looking at your toothbrush, you want the bristles to be densely compact, mm -hmm. very straight. Once mm -hmm. you start seeing them fray, or like you said, the blue or the different colored yes. part starts fading down, mm -hmm. that's when you know it's time to change it because then it doesn't become as effective, as, as effective as removing plaque and bacteria and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Another thing to keep in mind, if you use one of these covers, whether you're traveling or you keep it in your bathroom and you cover it, dentists say to let your toothbrush dry completely dry. before um, you put on okay. the cover because that can also foster bacteria. Just bacteria. Well, so, speaking of like bacteria, but what about sponges? Okay, sponges. So what do you guys think about sponges? How I, often do you I think you should be I probably get rid of mine them? every two weeks. I get rid every of every two every weeks? week. Okay. It's weekly. Oh, and you should, okay. yeah, which I know it can be a little mm -hmm. wasteful to replace yep. them weekly, but another hack you can do 
is you can actually microwave them. And so what oh, you do, yeah, so you, what mm. you do is you soak them in hot water, uh -huh. a lot of soap, and then you throw it in your microwave for like, one to two minutes. Like they do the expand. The soap bubbles all come out. Yeah, the soap bubbles come out, all that good stuff. Oh, cool. So you could do that every week mm -hmm. to sort of I also have a sponge subscription, so it just sends me new sponges. That's a great, every month. I, great idea. I've never read a sponge before. That's fantastic. <laughs> You should try it. It would <laughs> keep you great. busy. Here's a fun fact about <laughs> Dylan Dreyer. She can't watch anybody brush their teeth. I can't. And every show, every movie, at some point, someone is always brushing their teeth. Is it the sound or it's is it just spitting. watching it? It's like the watching them do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Luckily, he has no toothbrush. A dry toothbrush is fine, so joke's on you. Well, so Adriana, gross. thank you so much for more advice <laughs> on how often we should be cleaning our items. Yeah. How go to today.com slash how often. It makes me want to spit. It's disgusting. Oh my God. Coming up next, we are putting a southern spin <laughs> on today's food, a seafood boil, and a sweet oh. dessert that will make no. for one epic end of summer feast. We'll be right back. It's All right. Disgusting. Oh, Russia, stop. That is so gross. It's really disgusting. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.